Italian DNA is a fascinating genetic mosaic shaped by thousands of years of migration, conquest, and cultural exchange. From the ancient hunter-gatherers who first arrived on the Italian peninsula during the Ice Age, to the grandeur of the Roman Empire and the profound impact of later invasions, Italy's genetic history is as complex as its storied past. Over millennia, the genetics of Italy have been influenced by a vast array of cultures and peoples, Etruscans, Greeks, Romans, Germans, Arabs and more, each leaving its genetic imprint on the land. This genetic blend creates a unique and diverse DNA profile that sets Italians apart from other populations. But what exactly makes Italian DNA so distinctive? Why is it considered one of the strangest and most diverse in the world? I'm on a road to 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. And let's dive into the intriguing history of Italy's genetic legacy. Um, the story of Italian DNA begins over 15,000 years ago when the first humans arrived on the Italian peninsula, likely crossing from the Near East and Beringia during the Ice Age. These early settlers followed animal herds across the land bridge from Asia to Europe, eventually reaching what is now Italy. The challenging terrain and varied climate of Italy, from the rugged Alps to the coastal plains, created isolated pockets where these early human populations could thrive. The genetic legacy of these first inhabitants is still present in modern Italians, particularly in regions like the Alps and southern Italy. Early human groups, such as the Orignations, left behind distinct genetic markers, which can still be found in the indigenous populations of today. These early settlers were predominantly hunter-gatherers, adapting to Italy's diverse ecosystems, and their genes formed the foundational layer of Italian DNA. Genetic studies of modern Italians reveal that the ancient hunter-gatherer genes from the Ice Age are still detectable in the gene pool today, especially in northern and southern Italian populations. This continuity of genetic markers highlights the resilience and adaptability of Italy's earliest inhabitants, whose genetic contributions remain a defining aspect of Italian DNA. Long before the rise of Rome, the Etruscans flourished in central Italy, particularly in regions such as Tuscany, Lazio and Umbria. This ancient civilization, which predates Roman dominance, played a crucial role in shaping the genetic landscape of Italy. The Etruscans are thought to have originated from either the Near East or Anatolia, and their unique genetic markers have been preserved in the Italian gene pool to this day. The Etruscan influence on Italian DNA is especially significant due to their advanced civilization and interactions with surrounding cultures. They were known for their sophisticated society, art and engineering, and their genetic legacy was passed on through trade, marriage and cultural exchanges with other Italian tribes, as well as with the Greeks and Phoenicians. The Etruscans were also influential in the early days of Rome, providing religious practices, political structures, and even some elements of their language to the emerging Roman civilization. Though the Etruscan civilization eventually declined under Roman expansion, their genetic imprint remains in modern Italians, particularly in central Italy. DNA studies show that many southern Italians carry traces of Etruscan genetic markers, helping to explain the region's unique cultural and genetic characteristics. The Roman Empire, one of the most expansive and influential empires in history, significantly altered the genetic makeup of Italy and much of Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. As the Romans expanded their territory, they not only conquered vast lands, but also integrated a multitude of peoples into their empire. Roman soldiers, settlers, slaves, and traders brought genetic diversity from all corners of the empire, leaving a lasting impact on Italy's DNA. The Roman influence was particularly strong in central Italy, where the empire was centered. However, genetic mixing also occurred in other regions, as Rome's imperial reach spread across the Mediterranean and beyond. People from North Africa, the Middle East, and Southern Europe intermingled with the native Italians, creating a genetically diverse population. The Romans were known for assimilating local populations, often through intermarriage, which further blended Roman genetic markers with those of other conquered peoples.
Roman DNA left a lasting imprint on modern Italians, with genetic traces of North African, Middle Eastern and Southern European ancestry still present today. These diverse contributions, particularly in Southern Italy, illustrate how Roman conquests and the Empire's global reach shaped the complex and varied genetic identity of modern Italians. Following the fall of the Roman Empire, Italy was invaded by a series of barbarian tribes, including the Goths, Vandals and Lombards. These invasions introduced new genetic markers to the Italian gene pool, particularly in northern and central Italy. The Lombards, who settled in Italy in the 6th century, were one of the most influential barbarian groups. They brought with them Germanic genes, which mixed with the existing Roman and indigenous populations. This influx of Germanic DNA significantly impacted the genetic landscape of Italy, especially in regions like Lombardy, which was named after the tribe. In addition to the Germanic tribes, the invasions brought new cultural and genetic influences from other parts of Europe. These groups introduced a range of genetic markers contributing to Italy's already diverse population. Despite the disruptions caused by the invasions, the blending of these new populations with the Italian natives created a unique mix of Roman, Germanic and other European genes. The medieval period also saw the rise of new political entities, which further contributed to genetic diversification. Over time, these cultural and genetic influences helped form the foundation of modern Italian DNA, with significant variation found between regions, reflecting the complex history of invasions, migrations and assimilations. The Renaissance, which began in Italy in the 14th century, was not only a cultural revolution, but also a time of significant genetic and demographic shifts. Italy became a hub of art, science and trade, attracting people from across Europe and beyond. This influx of intellectuals, artists, traders and diplomats from France, Spain and other parts of Europe brought new genetic contributions to Italy, adding another layer of diversity to its already complex genetic makeup. As Italy's city-states flourished, particularly in Florence, Venice and Rome, foreign influence grew stronger. The French, in particular, left a notable genetic imprint, especially in northern Italy, where many people from southern France and other parts of Europe settled. Similarly, the Spanish influence, particularly after the dynastic union of Spain and Italy, introduced more Iberian genetic traits into the population. This period of cultural exchange and migration led to a further diversification of Italian DNA, blending Roman, Germanic, medieval and European genes. I'm on a road to 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. The Renaissance also marked the continued integration of Italian society with broader European trends, further strengthening the genetic ties between Italy and the rest of Europe. Modern Italians carry traces of these Renaissance-era migrations, contributing to the rich, varied genetic legacy that defines the country today. Italian DNA is a living testament to the complex and rich history of the country.